Hey everybody. So here we're looking at the QQ Plexi, which currently has Windows 11 23H2 installed on it. It does not meet the minimum hard requirements needed to run Windows 11 24H2. That's because it has a Phenom 2 6 core, I think it's a 1045T processor, but any of the Phenom 2 CPUs don't meet the minimum hard requirements to run Windows 11. However, in a recent video I posted up on the channel, one of the uh, viewers suggested that I try a trick that is known to bypass the requirements Windows 11. And I'm talking about the actual requirements Windows 11, the ones that they specify, the ones I like to refer to as the Microsoft Elite Class requirements. It's a method you can use to bypass those requirements and that involves copying over the install.win file from Windows 11 to let's say Windows 10's installer. Now in a recent video I demonstrated how I created a better Windows 11 installer USB and more or less I did exactly that because I cannot stand the Windows pre-installation environment that comes with Windows 11 24H2 so what I did is I took the installation files for 23H2 and copied in the install.win for 24H2 Therefore, now we have an installer that will install 24H2 using basically the 23H2 wrapper. Now, what this means is when I start this system off of this flash drive, chances are likely that it's going to assess the system based off of the hardware requirement for 23H2. Now, I should note that my installer was set up with Rufus, so um, the system requirement for Windows 11 again like they're calling them as the Microsoft Elite Class requirements are bypassed so I can install on older systems that are well below the 8th gen Intel CPU requirement or AMD Zen Plus requirement so that being said what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this flash drive and I'm also going to disconnect our SATA SSD which has the Plexi's Windows installation on it. And we're going to take this SATA SSD and we're going to plug it up like so. Just like this. And now we're going to actually boot into the installer. Okay, so we're loading up, and I should note in case you are curious, <laughs> what's showing that? Um, in case you're curious, what would happen if you try to boot a system off of Windows 11 24 H2 installation media that does not meet the heart requirements? I have a video where you can check that out. Alright, so we're going to go and run through setup here. So again, we are using the Windows pre-installation environment for Windows 11 23H2. Select our version here. Accept the terms. Choose custom. Alright, so. Okay, so I had to disconnect our data volume because it was causing things to act a little weird with this installer. So now that's disconnected, we have just our blank SSD. We'll set up a new partition on there. Now we got this prompt here. That's one re that's one of the reasons why I always hit new and actually choose a partition to ensure that it creates the system reserve partition. Because when it doesn't, it can do some weird things. So anyways let's go ahead and run through setup here. Let this install.
Okay, so the system is about to restart. Now watch what's going to happen here when this thing attempts to boot into Windows. Just removed our installer. Okay, so you can see how we briefly got Windows 11 to um, start, but it crashed. We'll let it go again. That's because this build of Windows 11, 24H2, simply cannot run on this hardware. So you can you can do all the bypasses, all, all you can do all everything you want to try to bypass the hard requirements. But let's face it, at the end of the day, the hard requirements are hard requirements. So at the end of the day, we have to understand that systems that don't meet the hard requirements for Windows 11 24 H2 simply cannot run it. They cannot run it. So that's the reason why I wanted to put this video together. I already knew what the end result was going to be, but I had some viewers who were insisting that I try doing the install.wim trick. Well, there you go. So, unfortunately, if your computer does not meet the hard requirements for Windows 11 24H2, you're not going to be able to install Windows 11 on that system. You'll have to upgrade that system to new enough hardware that can run 24H2, which will be anything that is like roughly 2010 or later um, Intel Core i3, i5, or i7 CPU or Pentium or Celeron equivalent on the Intel side of things or AMD Bulldozer or AMD E-Series or A-Series APU so this AMD Phenom 2 processor is just a tad too old so it's the Phenom 2 6 core 1045T processor again it's just a tad too old so I mean it's roughly I think the Phenom 2 6 core is roughly 2010 so with AMD you're probably looking at 2011 or newer so it's unfortunate but it is what it is now I should know this system is a little sluggish with Windows 11 23 H2 so I mean what can you say so there you go for those curious what would happen if you try to literally drop the installer or the image onto the um, boot disk in your system, that's what will happen. So, that's our this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.